Could Big Brother Jupiter prevented the annihilation of Earth? An astronomy enthusiast eventually has to decide if Jupiter should be regarded as our friendliest planet because comets would be more likely to strike us in the absence of Jupiter. Since you are undoubtedly a fan of astronomy and found this video, you probably know the answer to that question. That is why I made this video for you. Let's get to the point quickly. The response is both yes and no. Some astronomers think that one reason Earth is able to support life is because Jupiter's gravity helps shield us from some comets. Very long period comets J owed, I end the solar system from its farthest regions. Most of these swiftly moving, potentially destructive ice balls are anticipated to be flung out of the solar system by Jupiter's gravity before they can approach Earth. Therefore, it is believed that long-period comets only collide with Earth on extremely long time scales of millions or tens of millions of years. What would occur if Jupiter were to disappear from the solar system? Long-period comets would strike our planet far more regularly if Jupiter weren't so close by. In addition, scientists have recently been able to spot evidence of comets that have collided with Jupiter. One of the most well-known comets to collide with Jupiter was Comet Shoemaker-Levy 9, which struck Jupiter in 1994. Another notable collision occurred on July 19, 2009, as reported by NASA. We think it was an asteroid or comet that was a few hundred meters wide. The equivalent of 2,000 megatons of energy would cause severe regional devastation or a tsunami if it impacted the ocean if it struck Earth. But, we shall discuss the tale of these hits and how Jupiter essentially saved humanity later in this video. It would be best to give a brief description of this vibrant and enormous planet in order to comprehend how it can save Earth. The size of Jupiter is well known as being the largest planet in our solar system. It is 2.5 times larger than all the other planets put together and 318 times as massive as Earth. It's a gas giant, and scientists have known for some time now what lurks beyond the ferociously spinning clouds in the atmosphere. Some 4.6 billion years ago, a disk of gas and dust gave birth to our solar system. Neptune, Uranus, Saturn, and Jupiter were the first planets to form alongside the gas giants, and they did so roughly 4.5 billion years ago, at the same time as the rest of the solar system. Furthermore, we are aware that Jupiter shares almost all of its elements with our Sun, consisting primarily of hydrogen and helium, approximately 90% hydrogen and 10% helium. Some refer to Jupiter as a failed star. Jupiter simply isn't huge enough to cause nuclear fusion, though. The stunning swirling cloud sandstorms that you can see in some of the well-known Jupiter photos are made of ammonia, ammonium hydrosulfite, and water, which together produce the recognizable red and white bands. They are around 31 miles thick. You undoubtedly assume that Jupiter must have a solid surface when you look at him, however this is not the case. Mostly gases and liquids are present. A spacecraft dispatch there would also have nowhere to land. Yet, just because there would be nowhere for the spacecraft to land does not guarantee that it would pass through Jupiter's atmosphere unscathed. This is due to the fact that any spacecraft attempting to fly into the planet would be crushed, melted, or vaporized due to the tremendous pressures and temperatures deep inside the planet. But, we still have the ability to send spacecraft into orbit to study the planet, and we have done so without a doubt. For instance, the Juno probe was launched towards Jupiter on August 5, 2011, and it entered orbit around the planet on July 4, 2016. Since then, we have learned a lot about Jupiter, and what we have learned is amazing. We discovered that the brightly colored stripes of swirling gas and dust that you see in Jupiter's atmosphere run 1,800 miles deep, and they contain so much gas that their mass is roughly three times that of the entire Earth. It was also found that Jupiter's atmosphere rotates at different rates in different zones and bands, varying by up to 328 feet per second. This enormous planet serves as our sort of big brother. 
Jupiter's gravity wouldn't be powerful enough to alter the orbits of large asteroids if it weren't so massive. And comets and asteroids would threaten us. We are aware of this since we witnessed it firsthand. July 19, 2009 amateur astronomer Anthony Wesley was observing Jupiter from his backyard observatory in Murrumbateman, Australia, when something peculiar caught his attention, according to information found on NASA's website regarding the collision that happened in July 2009. Wesley remembers, my eyes were glued to the great red spot, which was settling gloriously over Jupiter's horizon. The dark spot near Jupiter's south pole almost escaped my attention, and when I did, I dismissed it as simply another dark storm on the planet. That's what I initially believed, but something about the dark mark bothered me and seemed off to me, I couldn't stop sneaking peeks at it. Wesley got a better look at the flaw as Jupiter's rotation gradually pointed it towards Earth, and the realization hit him like a bolt of lightning. It was a mark of impact. The massive planet was hit. We think it was a comet or asteroid, says Don Yeomans of NASA's Near-Earth Object Office at JPL, measured possibly a few hundred meters broad. There would be major regional destruction or a tsunami if something of equal size impacted Earth. We're talking about 2,000 megatons of energy, the scientist said. The Hubble Space Telescope captured its first images of the blast site on July 23rd. Comet shoemaker Levy 9's collision with Jupiter was another well-knowingly seen comet impact. In July 1994, the comet was snared by Jupiter's gravitational pull, split apart, and ultimately slammed into the massive planet. The astounding thing is that the comet had already been broken up into more than 20 fragments and was orbiting the globe in a two-year period when it was spotted in 1993. Further measurements showed that the planet's strong gravity caused tidal forces that tore the comet apart. The Galileo Orbiter and the Hubble Space Telescope allowed us to see this in the immediate aftermath. Jupiter once more shielded us from embarrassment. I appreciate it, big bro. By the way we mentioned at the beginning of this movie that things could sometimes go differently, it turns out that Jupiter can occasionally be dangerous for Earth. Why? Be sure to like or dislike the video before learning the solution to this query so that we can keep enhancing and making these films better for you. As with all siblings, Jupiter influences both favorable and unfavorable conditions for life on Earth. Asteroid Belt, which is made up of thousands of tiny flying pieces of debris, exists in our solar system today because of its strong gravity, which prevented space rocks circling close to it from condensing into a planet. Asteroids are still affected by Jupiter's gravity today, but some of them are now being pushed towards the Sun and the risk of crashing with Earth. An intriguing tale or example originates from several centuries ago. A comet rarely approaches Earth within one astronomical unit, on average, that is one Earth-Sun distance, 92 million miles, or about 150 million kilometers. Yet, a comet flew by Earth in 1770 at a distance of just a million miles. Although it was still a good distance away, it was an extremely uncommon occurrence. After some research, we discovered that the comet had entered the solar system in a streak three years ago. As it approached Jupiter, it was redirected into a new trajectory that sent it directly at Earth. The comet made two orbits of the Sun before coming extremely close to Jupiter once more in 1779, which flung it back into space. Jupiter seems to have shot at us, but missed. Jupiter is a guardian of Earth. The answer is occasionally, yes, and occasionally, no. Do asteroids need to be feared? The likelihood of a civilization-ending collision with a huge asteroid or comet within our lifetimes or even our grandchildren's lifetimes is actually quite slim. This includes the six-mile-wide asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs 65 million years ago. On the other end of the size spectrum, small asteroids that burn up or burst harmlessly in the atmosphere constantly attack Earth. So, it is the asteroids in between that should worry us more than the largest or smallest asteroids. 
If we can't find a means to stop it, one day our planet will be struck by an asteroid large enough to destroy localized areas or perhaps trigger global climate change due to the dust and gases it can release. It's only a matter of when, it's not a question of if. It might occur on Tuesday, or it might occur in 500 years. By the way, many people are active in planetary defense, a group of experts researching ways to make Earth a safer place every day while fending off the threat of asteroids. The majority of methods that have been suggested to prevent an Earth impact event revolve around changing the trajectory of an asteroid that is headed straight for Earth. The kinetic impactor is one of these ideas, and it is now seen as being more developed because it is built on already existing and reasonably priced spacecraft technology. It alters an asteroid's orbit by directly colliding with a spacecraft at a very high relative speed, or many km s These kinds of projects are currently being worked on by researchers from all around the world. You might join them if you're passionate about it. Good fortune! Here's where the video ends, thank you everybody for watching. How do you feel about this video? Tell us in the comments section below and remember to spread the word as well, science needs you, and you need science. I'll see you again soon with another incredible video.